Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project, we are making a wall decoration and I'm using these incense burners from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take off that center piece. Now this is what you should have. And I'm also using toothpicks. I'm just going to break my toothpicks in half. Then I'll use my hot glue to attach my toothpicks to the center. And I'm just going to enhance the flower shape just a little bit more with my toothpicks. Now I'll take it outside and spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum white gloss. I'm also using these 8x10 frames from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to remove the backing and the inserts and I'm just using my pliers to remove these clips. Then I'll replace the glass and use my hot glue to glue it back in place. And you could also use a strong adhesive. I'm also using 4x6 picture frames in the same pattern. I'm removing the corners. I'm using my pliers to remove the staples, then I'll replace them with my hot glue. Just want to make sure that you're gluing them back on the same angle. For the tips, I'm just using my gold paint pen to cover the black area. Now I'll clean my larger frame and then I'll glue these ones on the corners and you can go ahead and use a strong adhesive for this part also. Just make sure that they're straight. Now I'll place my incense burner in the center. I have these foam beads. I'm just going to place one on each one of my toothpicks. Then I'll use my same gold paint pen and I'll paint my foam beads. Then I'll flip my piece over and to hang them on the wall, I'm just going to be using Tom Tacks. That's good enough and they sit perfectly on the wall. Just place one Tom Tack in each corner and push them directly into the wall and that should hold them. Use some strong adhesive if you'd like. Here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our second project. I'm using a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. I'm also using a mirror and this is the nine inch mirror. I'm removing the glass and I'm going to clean my frame. I'm also cleaning my pizza pan around the rim. For this project, I'm also using canning lids and I'm just using one for this project. And I'll be using bamboo skewers, two pieces at seven inches each. 
and I'm going to be spray painting all my pieces with my Rust-Oleum Gloss White. Now they're all dry, I'm replacing my mirror. You could use a second mirror from the Dollar Tree, but for this project, I'm going to be using a 10 inch mirror. Just place your mirror in the center of your pizza pan and use a marker to mark the area. And I'm using my hot glue and strong adhesive to glue them together. I'll be adding rhinestone gems around the edges and for my adhesive, I'm using B7000. Just place them neatly going all the way around. And this is why I use a 10 inch mirror. It gives me less space to work with. And you can stop here if you'd like, cause we're going to be covering that up. Now I'll place my mirror on the top and to balance my mirror, I'm using two tower blocks and I'm just placing them right below each other, marking my spot where I want my mirror to be. And I'm using my strong adhesive and my hot glue to glue them in place. Then I flipped it over and reinforce it. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this hook. That way I can place my skewers right in the center. This area is just for decoration. Then I'll glue my lid onto my skewers. Make sure that it's straight. To hook my wall decoration, I'm using the wire from my picture frame hook package. And I'm just using my hot glue and my strong adhesive. Make sure that it's straight and it's directly below the skewers. To finish off this project, I'm placing a two inch mirror on my canning lid. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to the third project. For the third project, we are using a dome jar and we're just using the lid. And I'll use my soldering iron to remove that piece in the center. I'm also using three golf balls from the Dollar Tree. I'll also use my soldering iron to pierce holes on both ends of the golf balls. And I'm also using a racetrack. I'll use my scissors to remove that piece from the end of my racetrack. That way it will bend easier without kinks. I pierced the holes large enough to fit my dowels. And for the third ball, I left the hole very small and it fits perfectly inside of that hole that's on the dowel. I'll place them just like so and they fit perfectly. I'm also making a hole in the center of my racetrack and that hole is large enough to fit the dowel. I ended up using a larger piece of my racetrack and that piece was 15 inches. Now I have my dome lid and I'm going to go ahead and use my screwdriver to place a small screw. And I'll just place that lid right on top and screw it into the dowel. Next, I pierce two small holes on the racetracks. And I'm also using this four inch bamboo wreath. And I'll attach them together using two small screws. For this project, I'm making a candle holder. And in order for my vase to fit on the inside, I'm just cutting out a small piece of foam that will keep my vase level on the inside. I 
and I'm using a Dollar Tree cylinder vase for this one. For the base, I'm also using a glass candle holder from the Dollar Tree and I'm attaching all the pieces with my hot glue and my strong adhesive. Just fill the candle holder with hot glue, then attach all the pieces together. Just try to be patient with this part and hold it straight so it can dry. And here's what we have. I change it to the 15 and a half inch piece of racetrack. After it was dry, I took it outside and I spray painted it gold with my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold Spray Paint. Now I'm using my hot glue to attach my rhinestone ribbon right on the sides of my racetracks. And I'm starting right at the edge, going all the way down, just pressing it in, making sure that it's nice and neat. And I'm doing that for both sides. For my candle holder, I'm using the cylinder vase from the Dollar Tree and I'm using my painter's tape to line the top and I'm just going to paint just a quarter inch off the top. I'm also placing a piece of paper on the inside, that way I won't get my paint on the inside. Now the base is nice and firm and this will be the support for the glass vase. Okay, the top is going to be a little bit wobbly but that's fine. Just make sure to straighten it while you have everything in place. And this is how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our fourth project. I'm using this foam wreath from the Dollar Tree. And you can use a foam cutter for this project. I'm going to show you how I'm using my knife. I'm just slicing the wreath in half. For this project, I'm making a small jewelry tray. I'm also using a wooden snake. I'm just going to carve out the pieces of my wreath and I'll place them in a way to make it look like the snake is running through the ring. I'm making a small tray, but this is an idea that you could use to make a large mirror, to decorate a large mirror. If you have a nice oval mirror and you'd like to decorate it, you could use a pool noodle. Now I'm done carving my foam wreath. I'll be spray painting it black, but before I do so, I'm using some primer and I'm just priming the wreath. And I'm also going to be spray painting my snake and I'm priming it first. And I'll use my gold spray paint to spray paint my snake. And I'll just spray paint on the top. Now they're all dry. Make sure to spray paint the underside of your foam wreath because it will be showing. We're going to be adding a mirror inside and the bottom area will be reflecting through the mirror. Now I'll just go ahead and use my hot glue to attach my snake pieces. I'm using my black paint pen to add a color to the eyes and to some parts of the snake body. For the base of my tray, I'm using a 9 inch mirror and I'm just removing the frame. 
I'll use my hot glue to attach my mirror to the back. And remember I said to spray paint the back. I did not spray paint mine, but I'm going to be covering it up. I use a piece of dust cloth to cover it and I'm also using a sharpie to hide the reflection and here's how this project turned out guys I hope you like this one let me know which project was your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them thank you so much for watching please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave share this video with someone that you think may be interested I'll really appreciate that if you haven't seen last week's video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.